What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Lou 924 coming at you again. It's going down. Doing a crawfish ball again. Man, I'm sorry I couldn't catch the whole video, man, but I'm going to give y'all a rundown of what I have in my pot. So I'm going to walk over here to the first pot. Show y'all a rundown. I'm at my people house doing some stuff, so I told them what to put in here. We got right there, that's an action sitting on top of white, which you see. I have some pro boil Zataran up in here. I have a bag and a half of oranges, and I have a bag and a half of lemons. So that's what I have in this pot with some garlic. I have, I see about 10 cloves of garlic in here. It's a 100 pork pot, about 10 cloves of garlic. I have four stocks of celery up in here. I have about seven, what it is, about seven onions in here. They chopped up some bell peppers. I think it was about three or four bell peppers. And they put up in here for me to get it started. You know, I can't do everything myself these days, so I got somebody to help me out. And they did everything for me. And I put some cayenne pepper up in here. So that's what's in this pot. Let's try to move on to the next pot. This is gonna be my crawfish, by the way. This is where the crawfish is going. We're gonna come over here. This is where our, uh, we're gonna have some, what's going in here? We got some corn going in here, some potatoes, smoked sausage, corn potato smoked sausage going off in here. And corn potato smoked sausage, Something else I can't remember, man. I'm just trying to shoot this video for you guys. But all I'm doing is getting the pot started. And this uh, pot right here, they have about, I'd say about three oranges, because it's not a very, very big pot. About three, four oranges. And we have about the same amount of lemons. I think about five lemons up in here, because they're not very big lemons. And the same ingredients. We got a, a handful of garlic in here. Uh, what else we got up here? We got our Zataran seasoning and everything. So that's everything that's up in here. I'll get back to you guys in a few. All right, you two, we back. Got our water to a boiling royal, a roaring boil. <laughs> See how red that water is, and so I let you know it's gonna be fire hot in there. So my crawfish. Wait until everything uh, cook down a little bit. My celery, and my uh, onions and everything, until they loosen up a little bit, then we're gonna throw the crawfish off in there. Come over here. We done purged our crawfish. And what I mean by purging crawfish, I didn't say this earlier. You add some salt to it at first with the water. And you allow them to uh, get all the dirt and mud out. It was way way filthier than this if you can uh, remember from earlier it was way filthier than this so I did it three times I'm gonna run some more water on it one more time and we're gonna get that done we only added salt to this one time I see one dead guy sitting on top so he gotta come out of there check on his other pot excuse my hands you know I can not deal with this waiting on this pot to come to a boil. It's where with potatoes and stuff going, like I told you. So wait until that comes to a boil. It's not too big of a pot. That pot right there bigger. So just wait, man. It's about to go down, baby. I'll be back with you guys in a few and give y'all the story. All right, we got our potatoes. We got some red potatoes, some regular potatoes. We got our pot. Our pot almost to a boil, so we're gonna put that off in there. You can put them in that pot, man. Let me stand back. I don't wanna get burned. Let me stand my ass back. That bitch is hot. Alright, we're gonna come back to y'all. It's about to go down. We added our crawfish to the pot, bringing that back to a raw and boil. Let that boil for about five to 10 minutes, depending on how long it takes to boil. And let it cook about five minutes. Then 
I shut it off and I'm gonna let it soak for a good 25 to 30 minutes to absorb all that good flavor I got off in this pot. So I'll get back with you guys, man. Sorry about my fingers in the video. You know I can't see that good, but my fingers in the video, so I can't use my hands that good. But I'm doing this for y'all to show y'all how I boil crawfish. Best way I know how. I'll get back. All right, YouTube, check me out. Gotta move this out the way first. I'm doing this by myself, so excuse my hand if you're getting the picture. Pick the stick up. Take my top off. My crawfish should be at a roaring boil. So you see we got our boil going on. I'm trying to get my hand out the camera, make sure it's not in there. And what I'm gonna do, Don't, don't pay no attention to my stick. I gotta get my spatula. And once I get my spatula, I'm about to shut this bad boy off and let this soak, man. You don't hear the roaring ball no more, so I'm gonna let these soak for about a good 20 minutes. 20, 30 minutes come back and taste them about 15 just to make sure taste them and see what's going on with them man i'll be back 